realize a lot of my information in this video has been past tense, not super current, but the reason for that is in one of my next videos about women's health, it's going to specifically talk about my birth control journey, and um, that basically, it's part and parcel with the period story for me, in terms of like my 20s onward. So I'm going to be talking about all that stuff when I talk about either what methods or forms or devices I've used for birth control. That will come later, but I figured I'd open it up to... You have to work for it. I figured I'd open it up to these two to see if they have any uh, remaining questions. What are three pieces of advice mm. critical that if you couldn't say anything else, you would give to a girl who is getting her period for the first time. Mm. Definitely arm yourself with some good books. But taking charge of your fertility, it just really teaches you that, yes, you have your period for a week or so, some people have it for longer or less, but there are other cycles within the month that aren't when you bleed. So it's going to teach you about that and teach you to kind of understand why certain things are happening and maybe to not feel so either ashamed or scared or whatnot. Two, don't necessarily feel confined to one form of um, sustainable period management in terms of like what you're using, pads, tampons. Um, I'm actually going to just start using a menstrual cup soon, um, which I can talk about a little bit later. Don't feel pressured either way, and, and, but I will say something good to look into is um, being aware of what ingredients are in your feminine products. There are, there are different options, and whatever you choose, choose what works for you. I would say this is only recently, and this is easy coming from somebody who's had a relatively painless journey with her period, but um, a good YouTuber to watch is Femhead. I'll link her below. She talks about how um, learning to know that your period is kind of like a health report or a health report card that you get every month to know that things are functioning and um, whatever your period is for you as long as there aren't major red flags it's perfectly for you there is no one type of period that it's a time for you to slow down get in touch a little bit realize how you like to relax you know be easy gentle on yourself and it can be a really beautiful time um, but anyway I'll link her below she says it much better than I do I do wonder because this video is hugely useful huge for everyone in our audience mm -hmm. but also for you know the segment of society that doesn't have a period doesn't have a period what three pieces of advice would you offer to them three pieces of information fun facts mm. no matter what age you are there are definitely resources whether it's on YouTube I'll try to link some good youtubers below or like I said, I think those books I mentioned before for the ladies that I'll link below, I think they're great for anybody to read. So I would say without a doubt, um, reading up or watching up on stuff is, is definitely very important. Just try to be cognizant of what you're saying um, to either to anybody at any age who is going through their period. It's not because um, we need to be treated with kid gloves, it's just... Um, it's a sensitive topic that is getting reformed and um, how it's been thought of and talked about and treated by society for a long time has been very destructive. So it's in a, it's in a rebuilding phase in a lot of ways, um, at least in like the first world. And so like you as an ally have a big responsibility in what you say can either be helping the journey or detracting from it. So uh, yeah, it's basically just uh, watching what you say. First sure, one was educate good. yourself. Knowledge is power. Second one is watch what you say and how you say it. Third one. What is the third tip? I mean, this is hard. Think I don't so. know if I can synthesize it down. This is a hard question. It is Harder hard. than I realize. A series. Oh, here's my third tip. Periods are something everybody should know about. If you think it's none of your business or you think it's something you shouldn't have to be concerned about, it most definitely is. You either know somebody who has a period, you're going to end up being in a relationship possibly with somebody who has a period. And you definitely came out of someone who had a period at one point in time. So true. But in this rebuilding process of making the period less taboo, definitely, you know, take some ownership over the fact that you definitely want to 
make it your business to kind of know what's going on, what happens, and through that I think you'll find your best way of you being a good support system. Knowledge is power. Mm -hmm. Educate yourself. Watch what you say and how you say it, and be the best ally you can be. It is your responsibility to know. Mm -hmm. It's a responsibility to be an ally. Also, it's just your response. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Guys, I think we ended here, and thanks for being with us on this journey uh, through Wynn's Health. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Like we said before, uh, if you're digging what you see and you want to make sure you see our videos on Fridays, and once in a while a Tuesday upload in addition, make sure to hit subscribe, hit that bell for some notifications, and we'll have all our socials linked below. Yeah, that's right. See you next week. Flow on, flowers. Be healthy. Ride that wave. I gotta haul ass to the ladies. I'm surfing the crimson wave. <laughs> <laughs> da ding. Shit. I gotta cut this tank. Be an ally. I'm gonna leave these two on screen. <laughs>